All right, welcome back, you guys. So, um, we'll start up another run, I think, today, dude. I did, I did do some more practice on, uh, on some bosses last night. I, I practiced Elden Beast a bunch. Somebody, somebody mentioned that I was, I was standing too far away from Elden Stars. That's actually, that, I think that is true. Because, like, I, I, um... I started sitting a bit closer, and it seemed like it actually was better. Maybe, maybe. I'll and I, like, I think I used to stand ever. that close, but then I started like going further and further away every time. But uh, Ocean, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I obviously, I, I'm gonna do a bit of practice before we start here, but uh, let's see. I should have a red wolf save somewhere. Probably. this one imagine naming the save files dude could not be me whoa okay, that's not that's not the save i was looking for yeah i saw the uh, latest convergence update dude i'll have to uh i think i'll play it i i want to finish this run first uh pity thanks so much for the raid i appreciate that how was your stream Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Colon three. I guess that's not the save. It should have been, though. Let me try this one. Uh, uh, Skurim. Thanks for the five month prime sub as well. And what the hell are these save files? Let me try. I'm, I'm very confused. This is why I should name my save files, dude, but... Oh, I... Oh. Oh, I know what the problem is. I just... I want to fight Red Wolf before we go in here. Okay, this is closer. What level sh uh, should you be by Elden Beast? Um, probably most people are like, yeah, level, yeah, probably around there, like 80 to, oh my god, dude. Uh, thanks, Fenjal. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, probably most people are around, like, level 90 or something. I, I don't know. Depends how much extra stuff you do. You could easily be level 120. Thanks for the, uh, good luck, you. Did I not make a Red Wolf save or what? I'm just trying to... I might not have made a Red Wolf save, which is crazy, because... Oh, you know what? I didn't, because I died, I remember. I I know I have one somewhere, you guys, but this is this is just what I get for not, never naming my save files. I simply make them, and I simply just leave them forever. Um... It's going better. Okay, let me try. <laughs> let me try. Maybe. I guess we could just start the run, but I, I would like to practice Red Wolf just so at least we can get past him. Make sure. I might get hit anyways, but there we go. I guess this, this isn't the exact setup we have, but close enough. That's why. That's why I I make save just as I go, and then I usually practice from those ones because those are the most most up-to-date versus if I made a save file like three months ago when I started writing this initially, then... It'd be, you know, a little inaccurate. Uh, Lorian, how's it going, dude? Wow, that was really bad. You know what? I guess the lightning is quite a bit better here.
Like, I feel like these R1s are doing a bit more damage. But I guess, like, we already knew that lightning was, was slightly better here. Uh, Fred, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. If I complete the challenge, will you seem... Oh, how was that bad, dude? How was that bad? I actually don't even know how that was bad because I thought I should go look at that again. Because I thought I did that basically as late as possible. This is why this is why this boss is such a annoyance, dude. Like, look how late I do this. What, what, like, what did I, what should I have done here, actually? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. But you can also notice here, too, look, like, you, the, like, so Red Wolf can do, um, Red Wolf can, can delay the jump slightly or do it immediately. Right here, Red Wolf does it, like, as soon as possible. Like, does the triple glimp blade and then immediately jumps. And obviously, the longer it gets delayed, the more, like, leeway you have, I guess, right? Uh, but no, no I, I won't use the same, the same file. Like, it... Well, I, I mean, I guess... I guess I technically will use the same file, but... It doesn't... Like, it does, it'll be a new run, I do. Uh, Willie, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub, and Muffin Man, thanks for the 100 bits as well, dude. Yeah, you can use knives to force input reads. I, I don't like doing that, though, but... Like, I almost think, in this instance... Maybe rolling would would have been better. Because it just... It perfectly frame traps me here, so there's nothing I really... Well, moving towards him, I thought was bad, but maybe it's better. Because here I did try to run away, but maybe being closer is better. But it's it's kind of like the closer you are, the earlier you have to use Vow of the Indomitable, right? Because the hitbox starts sooner, but the further, the later. So that's why I thought further would be better, but then... But then like... I don't know. No, I know you can go frame by frame. I don't really... There's nothing really to see here, though. I'm just trying to think of what I should have done, though. Or what I should do in this situation. I, I really actually don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I haven't gotten hit like this before. Best not ever. Well, that's concerning. Maybe, maybe um, Suvi, thanks ever. for the two-month prime sub. Uh, El Padrino, thanks for the three-month Prime sub, and Yuha, thanks for the nine-month resub as well. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hmm, that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, Vow Vow is more than double iframes of a roll. Right, well, I guess we're going to be testing this for a bit because that's like a legitimate problem right there. That's not just a mistake I made. That's like the strat is maybe bad. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely can throw knives. People have been doing that for a long time where they like throw knives, but I don't know. I don't, I think I've tested it and I, I'm not sure if it's guaranteed that you get a jump or not, but. I don't know, maybe it is better. You probably don't want to be that close either, because then you can get some other attacks. Uh, Fast Sky, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Yeah, maybe Knives is the play, dude. Maybe this Vow the Indomitable strat isn't even good. Like maybe that's not actually the best play. See, like, there he delayed it, so... Like, you, you notice that? Like, he delayed it, and so it's perfectly fine. Or if you try to roll that, you get frame trapped, but. But I think what happened on that last triple is that he just, he jumped instantly. And so I had to, you know, there's just less time. Jesus, dude. Like, maybe you would... Would you... If, so, say you did use knives. Would you want to still use Vow, though, in that situation? Because I almost guarantee you could still get frame trapped like that. But you wouldn't really have a lot of time to react to it, though. And this boss is... Kind of annoying. <laughs> the lie down emote. I don't think I have it yet. I do like this boss, but just it's so annoying that that combination is possible. And there's also there's a there's a strat that you can do. It's just not consistent in this arena because it's such a garbage arena. But there's a strat where you just go to the side and then you just jump. And that's that's what I did in like I think in all bosses no hit when I fought the Red Wolf of the Champion. That's that's a strat I did, but that, that guy has a perfectly flat arena. It's really big. And and the idea is that jumping to the side dodges the lunge while also dodging the glimp blades at the same time. But it's the, like the slope of the arena makes it not good. And then also if, if he's like right over there and does it, you just don't have room. Because you need you need good distance for that to work. So It's so annoying testing these like combination attacks because I I simply just need to wait for them to happen. It's not like it's not like learning to dodge an attack like waterfowl where you can just 
you know, use Cheat Engine or something to lock the attack. And then just practice it over and over and over again. So look, see, that's that's what you do. And if you have enough room, that's that's a perfectly good strat. But the reason why you got to do all this other stuff is because the arena is just horrible. I've never played Death Stranding, so no, I have not beaten it. Uh, Salimus, thanks for the nine month resub, dude. Also, uh, Symmetria. Thanks for the uh, Burning Prime sub as well. Well, I'm just, I'm practicing right now because. Holy smokes. <laughs> I haven't seen that before, actually. I'm practicing now because I, I did a, I was going to do a little Red Wolf practice, but then he fucking, he killed me on the strat that I thought was good and I didn't make a mistake, so. So now we got to figure this out. That's kind of how it works, right? You just, you, you do something and then... It's, it's it's a lot of time hard to test something perfectly because there's there's a very low chance of it not working and then you have to do it enough times to see that low chance maybe, maybe. there's a lot of strats like that in these games and clearly how is he half health did he did he take fall damage i didn't even notice dude I didn't attack him, right? Did, did he actually take fall damage, dude? What the hell? That's kind of crazy. Back up there. I didn't even notice that. I, I just, I was just looking at the boss. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Get back up there. Huh. Man, that would speed up the fight a lot. Yeah, the pacifist run strat. D I, can someone uh, timestamp on the YouTube and, and like link it so I can see that? No, there's, there's almost no way, like, <laughs> you could consistently get him up there, but. You know what? I actually just remembered that there's a better dodge, I think, on, on this. But maybe it's a bit risky. You dodge into that sword, and then... I'm, t I'm trying to get him on the globe, dude. Dodge into this, and then you have to rotate. But Maybe that wasn't it, but I thought... There was a way to get a charge R2 on that attack. I can't remember how now.
Now I'm trying to get... I want to see him go up there. He almost got up that time. Oh, is the, is the audio messed up today? I did actually change something, so it's possible it's messed up. What about on YouTube? Is anyone noticing any audio weird on YouTube? Oh, maybe it was... Maybe it was rolling in the left side of that. Nope. Or, uh, I don't know. I, I, I know for a fact I've there's a way to charge R2 punish that. But I forget now. Yeah, I think you guys are definitely right. Like, he needs to be on the stairs or else he can't get high enough. Ah, almost, dude. I think that was almost it. Yeah, see, I, I don't think the throwing knife actually... I think that's why I didn't like it, because it doesn't guarantee that he actually has to do... the Like, a, an attack. But unless I was just too late. Yeah, there's... <laughs> but could you imagine if there's some way to, like, bait out that big jump attack he does? Yeah, we'll add this in, into the uh, into the notes for the pacifist run, surely. Kill Red Wolf by making him fall off of the globe. <laughs> oh. Maybe that was it. Oh, that totally was it, dude. Okay, I remember now. It was when he does the lunge, you roll into it. Wait, so is Twitch audio weird or not? Because Hunter said it's not weird, and I kind of trust Hunter more than most people, so... Is it weird or not? Or is it just like, cause sometimes watching on Twitch, it has like, it sounds, it can sound bad. Like it sounds like wavy, you know, but.
name of the mod uh if you do exclamation mark er tool it's got all the stuff that you really need to just like practice things love that attack I don't I don't think the knife, the throwing knife guarantees that he input reads and then does something. I don't know though. Maybe maybe I just was throwing it too late. Let's see, yeah, you can dodge into this and then get an R2 and then roll, I think. But I I it's maybe a little risky. Uh Muffin Man, thanks for the thanks for the 200 bits, dude. Simply summon all the NPCs. Maybe, maybe I'll be the best not ever. Actually, I I never tested. I was gonna test Fire Giant, but I never did because I had the. Uh, well, it's not really a new idea of, of it, but just test more with preventing the fire breath from happening. Oh my god, dude. I, I just... I, I don't know what to do with this triple glint blade attack. That's actually... That was actually kind of interesting right there, though. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> it worked on uh, when he does the lunge, but let's get fucking blasted by another attack. It's actually so annoying. I wonder what the hitbox is like, though, on his lunge. Like, maybe... Maybe there's something you could do. Uh, Dino, thanks so much for the raid, dude. How's your stream, man? Why is there... Big, like, body thing is kind of annoying. I am simply right now trying to figure out what is the best way to deal with the triple glint blade plus lunge attack. And I really don't know at this point. I thought the Vow of the Indomitable strat was, was perfectly good, but then I was doing some practice earlier and I got hit by it. And it was a situation where I didn't I didn't mess up anything that I know of, so. Uh, learning Elden Ring yourself now? Yeah, getting prepared for the uh, big potential zero hit league coming up, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, this runs this runs pretty tricky. There's there's I, I have to get a lot better at the game before I can get this. A lot of stuff to figure out. I'm simply waiting. I've also apparently figured out here that Red Wolf can... This damage that Red Wolf took wasn't from me. It was from landing on the globe and then falling down. So I kind of want to see if I can do that again, but... I'm mostly here for the triple glimp blade dodge. I don't really think hitbox is helping anything here.
And it, it, it's really only the lunge that's a problem. But I, I guess going close is definitely not good because then you actually get all those other attacks and you I, I, you want a ranged attack, I guess, right? You definitely want a ranged attack. Well, yeah, it's not... Yeah, I can't repeat action because it's the combination that's a problem. It'd be kind of cool if I could do... If I could, like, force the boss to do a certain combination of attacks or something. Almost. Almost got him on the globe. So yeah, what you can do is roll into that and then do that. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, one thing that makes the, the triple glimp blade into lunge dodge weird is that he can... The timing of his lunge is not the same every time. Like I showed earlier, like that's how I got hit because he he lunged immediately the time that I got hit, which caused there to be a bigger delay between the glimp blades and his hitbox. Because if it was consistent the same every time, then you would just be able to... You would just be able to roll it. Like it wouldn't even have to be anything fancy, but there's a huge variation that can happen. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Thanks for amazing streams. Uh, Blanco, thanks for the six month resub, dude. I appreciate that. And the hitbox, the hitbox on that, that is a very bad attack. Maybe I should start doing that punish. It's actually significantly better than baiting out the jump attack. Push, uh, rush Red Wolf? Well, that's already what I do. I, Red Wolf's already the first boss. I basically fight him as as soon as is reasonable. But I still it still takes a good like 20 minutes to get there, so. Maybe also, it kind of would be nice if I didn't have to go get Vow of the Indomitable right away. If there's a better way to dodge that without it. And and you know what? Now that I'm doing that dodge, I I remember there being an issue with it. I, I think. See, here's fine since he he delayed his his charge, so no problem. Aram, thanks for the two year resub, dude. Arham. Welcome back. Uh Bloodhound step longer than light rolling. 
I don't know actually if it is. Not sure if that would solve the problem though, but maybe it would. Possible. Probably worth trying, I guess. What's the problem with the close range double roll? Um, there was something wrong with it. I can't remember what, but I, I know there was a problem because then I think very short after I started using Val the Indomitable, which I thought was good until today. <laughs> so the, all the problems with this dodge just come from, I was saying it earlier, they all come from the delay or the variation of time that can happen between the cast of the Glimp Blades and Red Wolf actually doing the lunge attack. So that's why all these things are not consistent. And, and now with Val the Indomitable, earlier I was practicing him, he did the instant lunge, which, oh my God, that frame trapped me too right there. Dang, dude, what the hell? This boss is something else, dude. But yeah, I, I can't really remember what the exact issue was, but... But yeah, like that strat. It just... I, I think he can just delay it, and, and then... He can just delay his charge, and then you get frame trapped anyways. It's got to be a better way, though. I think throwing knives is like actually decent, but I don't think it guarantees it either. I'm not sure. I need to do it more. Okay, well, I maybe have another idea, I guess. It's maybe maybe it's like on Soul of Cinder because Soul of Cinder also had a has like a similar frame trap combo and the solution to it was the solution that I found was to force a melee attack basically. Like I'm sure a lot of people have seen the this lightning strat where you go behind Cinder. The whole point of that strat was that you would prevent the chance of him doing a ranged attack that could frame trap you when you're going through the lightning, or rolling the lightning more specifically, which most people do. And you would prevent that by baiting out a close range attack, which you can roll. It's not the exact same, but maybe somehow that's can work here. I don't know, but I guess the problem with that is sometimes he does glint blades when you're not close, like he just jumps away and then does it. I mean, that's almost always when he does it, so. I just I don't I don't really see how that would work, but during the, the development of this boss, the team mistakenly had infinite <laughs> infinite high frames on. Maybe, dude, or they just simply didn't care. It's more like it. They probably they probably just didn't care. Even this, like, that attack is, is such a bad attack, dude. I hate it. Okay. You don't get it? Oh, maybe I needed to walk more under the globe there. Does anyone have the clip again of Red Wolf getting killed or getting... Seems like a really bad idea what I just did right there. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem so good.
Well, I'm just, I'm practicing right now because... Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. I didn't even see the health when this happened. I'm practicing right now because... Well, I'm just, I'm practicing right now because... Look at that. And I didn't even notice the insane damage he took. Huh. Surely that's reliable to set up. Ah, oh, this boss, dude. A lot of people wonder why I don't fight this boss with, like, bleed and stuff. First of all, statuses aren't that good here, but it's mostly because... Um... Because it's a very annoying boss. Dude, I, I, even that is kind of scuff. I don't really like it, dude. Well, I was planning on doing a run today, you guys, but now... I'm not sure what to do. Because I also kind of want to test Fire Giant Breath a bit. I, I feel like it can be prevented. I just, I have a feeling, dude. Not really based on anything, but. But I, sh I need to figure out what I'm going to do here first. Get to the second floor of the room. <laughs> really? Yeah, I hadn't seen that before. But it, uh, like, it's not useful for anything, but it's just kind of funny. I just, I don't really like going behind him because then he has a very high chance of doing his glimp blade. Exactly what he just did right there. Dude, Master Royal boss is going to happen, I'm sure. Surely will. I'm sure we'll figure out a strat for every boss. <laughs> no, honestly, though, I have no idea if it's going to be possible. There's, there's a few bosses like Fia's Champions that I just, I don't understand how it would work at this point. But surely Godwin cheese somehow works, but I don't know how. And I don't know what you would use. It's even even certain Ash of War that can't be input red. Like I don't know. I'd, I'd have to test a lot of things there. Not gonna think about it until the time comes. Yeah, Gary. No idea how Gary's going to work. I don't think. I just, I want to see him do... There's two things I want to see. If he, if he has to... If he has to input read and dodge the knives. Which, see, like, right there he didn't. So I just, I don't think it's actually reliable. And I think that's that's probably the issue when I've tested knives before. I think that's probably what I found to be not so nice, but I don't know. Yeah, double gargs, I have no idea. At least there's some ideas there, though. 
Because you, you can fight them one on one, but is it actually realistic to do, especially for the amount of time that's going to be required? No statuses are possible. I have no clue. Uh, so, so yeah, there's, I mean, I'm not going to think about it until later. Just focus on getting this run first, which I, I should be able to do. Once everything's pro pro properly figured out, and it would be accelerated getting the run too, especially if I can figure out actually how to avoid fire breath, which I don't know if I can, but if it's possible, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, you can't use Black Flame Blade on this. But see how Red Wolf basically every time you're behind does the fucking stupid Glimp Blade? Not really an attack that I want. DLC will introduce a great boat can shoot through fog gates. <laughs> well, that wouldn't help anything anyways, but... Yep, the next mill would. I do like this boss. It is kind of a shame, though. It's just, it's just that one... It's just the one thing. The triple glimp blade combinations. See, this is fine. See the delay happened? Oh, wait, does, does it, anyone have a clip of... Which... Wait, was this the one? Yeah, this was the one. So this is, this is what happened. I thought, I thought the... Vow of the Indominal Strap was perfect here, but... See, we get instant lunge. And then I just... Like I was saying earlier, the delay, there's there's too much delay, and so I just don't have enough iframes for that. I I I guess Like, I, I could have dodged backwards on this, and then I would have had distance. I think you probably want distance for this, right? But you don't always get distance, though. Lunch was buffered. I don't know. I, I think that's why I've never had an issue with this strap before. And I thought it was good, because I, I hadn't really seen an instant lunge like this before. <laughs> nice background noise. Okay, I'll... Turn it off for a second. But this is tricky. I, I, don't, I really don't know what to do. Because it seems like there's a lot of ways to deal with it that are just not perfectly consistent. Because I think the throwing daggers, it... And and let's say, let's say I, I am using throwing daggers. How would I even use it here? Like, throw one at the last second? I, there's no way that's in time. All right, so let's say I dodge this and then throw it right now. The lunge already starts up, so throwing daggers would have a similar issue in this case. Double, double roll? Yeah, that, that's also what I was, I was saying when this happened, is like maybe double rolling would be better in this situation, because then... Like, let's say roll there and then i most likely do have time to roll again so that's that's tough but maybe maybe that's the solution dude i, I have to i 
have to gauge the delay of the lunge and then from that react and, and determine like what dodge I should do. But that's, I don't know if that's realistic, just thinking about it. Yeah, surely easy peasy, dude. No, double roll, double roll is not consistent. I That's what I was doing a while ago, but... The problem with double roll is, again, the delay. If if Red Wolf delays the lunge too much, then you're screwed anyways. Like, you can't, you can't do that because of that variation in timing. Roll the lunge very early. Well, the lunge has a very... Like, it has a pretty favorable hitbox if you go to the left side, which is why the jump strat works so well. Raptors of the Mist. But isn't Raptors of the Mist like... Raptors of the Mist. Is that is that even what it's called? Isn't that... Kind of late? Found after... Yeah, there's there's no way. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that. I wonder how close... I wonder how close this is to the iframes expiring. Like, how close was I to iframing that? Because I get hit right here. Like, the hitbox... I think I do iframe a part of it. Like, right... These probably two... At least this frame is an iframe. This one might also be two because the, the hitbox is right on the tip of this thing. So I might have had two frames where I iframe it and then maybe just like the last. I don't know. I I don't know how close I would have been. Because I probably... I, so I get hit here. So one, maybe two, three, four. Well, I guess it's, it's hard to tell. But... Probably needed like an extra three frames or something. Hmm. See, so I, I think you know what, dude. It, like, it actually might be reasonable to do that. Let's try it. This is another instance, and I've talked about it a lot. Where if. If some of these bosses, if they tone down the tracking of the attack slightly, then it wouldn't be so bad, right? Elden Elden Beast Needles is the biggest example probably, but then also these Glimp Blades. Like, if they just had slightly worse tracking, then, like, you could just roll to the side and roll all of them. But they just, they needed to tone it down just a little bit. I <laughs> look like blood sausage. Yeah, but well, I probably just took a good five minute beating from Red Wolf right there. Okay, here we go. Maybe, just maybe kidding. Be the best nut ever. Yeah, no, I don't think there's really realistically a way that you could prevent this, this attack from happening. Uh, Raz, thanks for the brand new Prime stuff, dude. Well, I think I think all they had to do in this case was probably just make it so that there's a bigger cooldown, or there's a bigger recovery on the triple glimp blade cast instead of basically zero cooldown at all, and then, cause yeah, cause then it would be fine. But that's not how it is. So, <laughs> that was silence. <laughs> yeah, if only, dude. Surely DLC will add that. I'd actually, could you imagine how good that would be, though? Fighting Renala, Vow of Silence. If it worked on this boss, that'd actually be insane. Especially depending on how quickly you can cast it. It'd be so fucking good. 
I'm actually not sure if I would have survived that there. Oh yeah, Gideon, dude. Yeah, that 100%. And there's, I, I, I think there's, there's definitely a sweet spot on the range you want to be when the triple glimp blades actually happens. Because you don't want to be too far. If you're too far, then I think you can. Like earlier, we got frame trapped by this attack and the glimp blades. But then, yeah, you don't want to be too close, obviously. So. Has poison mist. Well, I'm gonna use poisonous mist. I'm poison. I don't even know if you can use poison mist on this run, but no, poisonous mist is uh, like I don't have to test that. That's gonna be pretty straightforward. Okay, that was I survived. That was the that was the initial strat that I thought would be good for glim blades. Is is the double roll at the specific distance but then yeah the problem like i was saying is the it's the delay yeah just poisonous mess like it's it, i don't yeah i don't even have to test it because basically well i and, and i don't even need to use moth flight either so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna proc frost i'm gonna proc poison I'm gonna proc frost again, just like I normally do. And then usually I get a bleed in there. But you know what? I, I probably should test it because it's possible that we have enough damage to immediately stun the boss. Proc a bleed, which I almost always do. And then during the phase transition, which, okay, I'm actually not sure how it would work. But yeah, we could probably just kill the boss outright with Moth Flight and, and a bleed proc. Uh, how's it going, ICDs? Just wait, you guys, until we're going to have to do this exact thing with every single boss <laughs> when we're doing ma the all bosses version of this, dude. Because I'm at least going to route it. Even if it's even if I can't figure out a way to fight every boss, I'm still at least going to route the run. Uh, Square Off is honestly really bad on NG plus 7. And just this run, it just doesn't do enough damage. I mean, actually, that's pretty solid damage right there. I double roll that one. I mean, it's solid damage, I guess, but a, a charged R2 does quite a bit more. With the Lightning. Or, or holy, actually, which is what I normally use. And it's just, yeah, normally the he, Red Wolf would poise break in three hits, but since we're on this new game cycle, it's, it's what, like seven? Yeah, the Glimp Blade mod. Exactly, dude. Glimp Blade, Glimp Blade. I roll that one. It's important to also roll in the direction that he places the glint blades. So like if he goes, if he places them from left to right, you want to roll in the same direction as that. I think. I remember that being important for some reason. Honestly, can't remember how though. But yeah, that's just how Elden Ring works, though, right? The poise, the poise break builds get heavily weakened as you go up in the NG cycles. Especially once you get to, like, the final couple ones. See, so at this distance, I can very comfortably just roll both. Day of testing today, apparently.
I think I think this is actually realistic to do. So what I'm doing, what I'm planning on doing here, if he instant dashes, then I roll. And any other case, any other case, I vow the indomitable. I I would like to practice this a bit more though. Well, obviously, unless he dashes, and then I just usually roll it. But okay, I think uh, I think it's good. I, I just I want to practice a bit so I can get a feel for it. This should work. I can't think of any problems with this, but I'm I'm sure there's some. There are probably some problems still. I can't think of any immediately though. Oh, what a garbage R2 that is. <laughs> Simply memory of Grace. <laughs> Every time Triple Glimp played. <clears throat> yep. That's the old school strat, dude. It's there's no, honestly there's no worse feeling when you're doing a, a a run like this where the boss fights last a significant amount of time. Than having to memory of grace out of a boss and just ruin all your progress on them. And could you imagine memory of gracing out of Elden Beast too? Because it's actually that's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Because it, let's say if you're against the wall in the Elden Beast fight and he does flying needles, you can't survive. Like you're you're simply dead. So it'd be best to try to save it by memory of gracing or. You know, if he does Elden Stars when he swims really far away from you, then you're probably also dead. So you just have to memory of grace out of that. Uh, you you can enter this this boss without him aggroing, yeah. But oh my god, that's so close. But this run's not really like even if I could come in here with Gambit, which I can, what would it do? Like, there's no scripts on this run. There's no really any major cheeses that we do. It's just you simply win. Which is what this run is meant to be. I mean, there's a few cheeses, I guess, maybe. Like Ranala and your Chronic Sentinel and stuff. But... Yeah, free. You get a free 200 damage. Good. Uh, Red Wolf can sleep, yeah. I think I, I think I, I think I feel decent about this, dude. I don't mind it. Cause that's, that's perfectly fine. If, if we get an instant, then we're, we're fine. And then if I don't, then I just... Bow the Indomitable. You know what? That's actually going to be good on the, on the fight, too, because that, that'll mean I use Vow the Indomitable less. And so I can save more FP for buffing and, and whatever. Um, Can you Rot Cheese him? You probably can Rot Cheese him, but... Actually, I like this fight, so I, I wouldn't want to do that anyways. But yeah, you could probably Rot Cheese him, though. You can Rot Cheese a lot of bosses, like Loretta. You can do it. I'm sure you can here. You can you can do it for Ranala as well. Actually, you can enter the boss fight without her detecting you in, in phase two. And then you can cheese her like that. I, so yeah, there are quite a few of those that I'm just not doing. But yeah, you're right. You, you probably can on this guy. I've never done it, but I'm sure you can. I didn't stop at uh, Lebai's. I'm just... That's not something I wanted to do every stream. I, I want to focus on getting this run right now. So...
It's so funny. Look at this. Look at this repost. You can repost from there. Yet, if you walk directly up to that golden spot, you do not get the repost. It's just so stupid. Also, don't think I've ever seen Red Wolf do a double glimp blade into a lunge either. I'm trying to think. I can't remember. All right, well, I think that's what I'm going to try to do, you guys. It's just, it's very annoying to practice this. It's actually not that annoying. I, I find this boss pretty fun to fight. Yeah, honestly, square off wouldn't be bad. If, if we just put a, a weapon buff on this thing, like just some grease, Probably wouldn't be that bad, but Axe is for sure better. Whoops. Okay, I guess it was fine. Wait, okay, so that was kind of delayed though. Like, so I can't remember the situation where the double roll's bad, but I, I know it is though, because. I must have gotten hit one time. Uh, Giant Hunt is not a better square off, no. They're completely different. Giant Hunt does quite a bit less poise damage. But it also, like, knocks things in the air, so... Don't I do him like millennia? Uh, that just wouldn't work at all. And I also, it'd be, you'd have to be insane to leave Red Wolf that late in the run. But yeah, that just that strat wouldn't even work. Cause look, look what happens. So if I, as soon as you hit Red Wolf, it, you just immediately knock him out of a stagger. So <laughs> if you try to tornado. First of all, this boss doesn't have that much HP, so it wouldn't do that much damage, and it would, yeah, like it just, it, it only works on Millennia because she gets staggered by the tornado. Like that strat doesn't really work on any other boss on this. You know what, actually, now that I think about it though, I wonder how it works on uh, Loretta. Oh, like I wonder if she gets knocked, but like micro stunned by it, probably not. But But yeah, so I think I think there's um I really wish I could remember what hit me when I was doing the double roll strat. I, I just don't know. But yeah, I think uh I think there's a pretty big range. Like there's a big crossover or intersection between the double roll and the vow of the indomitable where they both would work that's what it looks like to me because there was that one earlier where I, where I rolled and i probably should have used vow but it was perfectly fine but vow was probably more for the like the mega delayed ones i guess Something that does more damage than a repost? Not really. Not that I can think of. I think if you're saying on this boss. 
You know, despite all this practice I'm doing right now, I actually feel very good about my Red Wolf fight. Also, don't know why I'm using a broadsword here. Usually, we use Sacred Blade on a Battle Axe. That's the setup here. Lightning Slash is also good. That's what I was using before, but then I decided it made more sense to go fight Red Wolf. See, like, look at that damage, dude. The square Off only did, like, 190. But I decided I should get this boss out of the way as soon as possible, and Lightning, lightning Slash requires Altus, so... And the, the, the battle axe, like with NG plus seven poise, the battle axe doesn't really do even that much less poise damage than square off does. So it's, I don't know how many less hits it is for a poise break, but it's not that much. It's probably like one extra hit. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's no fuse champ strat for master run at this point. There's a lot of strats for other runs though, like. Basically, climbing Godwin works for a lot of things, especially if you're using a sorcery build. If, if I were to do level one plus zero, let's say even master run with stat boosting, I would probably just use Night Comet or Lightning Spear or something like that. I think, does Bolt of Grand Sax, I think the fully charged Bolt of Grand Sax doesn't get input red either, right? Or something, or I don't know. Anything that, anything that's ranged that NPCs don't input read, you're good to go. The problem is that I, I don't know what... I don't know what on this run would be the best thing to use. It would have to be some Ash of War. Spectro Lance gets input red, I think. Ice Spear doesn't have enough range. Um, Lightning Strike gets input red, I think. Like, and it does no damage. Like, there's, I, I don't know. There might be something. Have to have to go through the list of of possible options for it, and then you know, hopefully. FP honestly shouldn't be an issue because if, if we needed to, we could probably get 13 blue flasks plus 10 starlight shards, right? So that should make FP better. I don't know though. And, and they don't have a lot of health. Swarm of flies. I We definitely do not have enough stats for that. Yeah, that's true, uh, Troll, but we're talking about like all bosses at this point. <laughs> Golden Lions. Somehow don't think that would work. Stormblade gets input red, I believe. I don't know. Anyways, we don't even have to think about this right now, so. Oh, you know what? What about Enchanted Shot? I wonder if that would work. Or if it's too fast. Maybe Sky Shot? With status arrows? Something like that. Rain of Arrows, I feel like they would just roll out of immediately. Yeah, maybe some like Sky Shot or Enchanted Shot. I don't know. Um, okay, let's I'm gonna fight Red Wolf properly here again. Just gonna do like an actual fight. Even though right now we have Lightning Slash, which I normally use holy, but I mean, I could just get myself. Yeah, maybe that's why this is slightly less damage, just because it makes the, uh, I don't know, like the scaling just a little bit worse, even though I think the buff 
like 96. So how much did that add? Like 90? Is it? Yeah, so it adds 90. I think this one also adds exactly 90. Oh, it's actually less than 90. I don't know. One thing that is kind of nice about Sacred Blade, there's there's one there's one drawback in that it takes more FP to use, and I guess it does a bit less damage, but it's quicker to cast, which is kind of nice. Because it can be kind of awkward to get an opening for Lightning Slash in the in the fight. But yeah, this does like actually quite a bit less damage. That was not a good roll. Yeah, a lot of the damage in this fight just comes from this big repose though. Like that's that's pretty big hit, actually. Yeah, even even though this is a, a pretty long Red Bull fight relative to normal hills, it's kind of quick enough that we shouldn't really see many. Glimp Blades. We get one here. Double roll that. That's good. I need to drink again, though. That is, that's the downside of the Sacred Blade. Usually I don't have to drink if I'm using a lightning slash. That's good though. So in this case, I don't even have to do anything because they got caught on the wall. It's actually, it is handy to know when that happens because it happens all the time, like in, in those corners, depending on the angle. Maybe I should start trying this punish again. Like maybe... I don't know. Double roll again. Maybe I shouldn't do that punish. It's a little sketchy, even though it's better. Whoa. What the? F what the f fuck was that? I wonder if that was like an input read. Must have been. That's the, the great bow strat. Um, I guess I haven't, but there's no way it'd work. Like the only reason the Esger and and the pot, or the the Esger dogs and the duelist pot strat works is because those are, those are just like normal mobs, right? Whereas this is a boss that only gets activated once it. Once it like has the trigger from the fog gate, I guess I can try it, but there's I I doubt it'd work. Even though that's probably enough sound, but yeah. Um, I do. I did say I want to do some fire giant testing, you guys, too, because we might as well. 
if I like today's probably not gonna be the longest stream so we might as well go through the stuff that I wanted to test out you could summon on top of Godwin like summon a, a spear dash or something I guess yeah maybe but oh you're saying get like Latena or something like that I I think there's gonna be a solution I I think I think we'll figure something out for them there's there's because we at least have Godwin that we can jump up on and, and do something like that, but. Um, there's other bosses that I have zero ideas for at this point, so. Okay, where would my fire giant save be? See if I can find one. Latena, well, Latena not moving is probably good, right? Because then she won't accidentally like go down there. But I, I feel like that's actually probably a good thing. But yeah, I guess we should also test the Godskin Duo thing as well. Does Godskin Duo, um, some more God save? I guess. Yeah, just to test the Apostle kill, because it's maybe possible that we just don't even have to fight Apostle at all. Did I not make a Fire Giant save on this? I guess it's fine. Man, how did I, how did I not make saves for some of these fights on the last run? You realize that DS3 has holy damage as well? What, you mean dark, or do you mean... Something else? Or do you mean like the holy buff that is physical? I would have liked, honestly, I like having more damage types in the game because it just adds more build variety. So if they added a holy and a dark damage in this game, I would have been perfectly fine with that instead of just holy damage. Okay, so let me just grab all the graces really quick. I just want to test something on Fire Giant. I, I don't really feel like I need to practice him because I fought him so much. Oh, whoops. I fought him a lot. Is Lay Boys F tier? I definitely gave them an F tier, yeah. I think you could easily argue they're the worst boss that they've ever made. Or that they've ever put in a game. You could easily argue that. Even worse than Gideon. Because not only is it one of the worst bosses in Souls. Like they basically took the idea of one of the worst bosses they've made in Souls. Which is Gank Squad in DS2. And they somehow made it like 10 times worse than that. So, But you know what? At least it makes Gank Squad seem like they're a better boss. Than they actually are. Maybe, because maybe if you compare it to Fia's Champions then... Ever. Thank you for all they the feel like they're. I would rather fight. Lay, uh, I'd rather fight. Gang Squad any day. Over Fia's champions, dude. Uh, Michael, thanks for the two month prime sub, dude. Hopefully this isn't. Okay, good. Yeah, Gank Squad has a, has a decent arena, and uh, I honestly feel like the AI of Gank Squad's a lot more manageable than Fias Champions, where Fias Champions always has two guys going after you at the same time. Um, yeah, I, I think Fias Champions worse than Half Light. So I, I, I'm nearly convinced at this point, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm nearly convinced that that fire breath 
is actually a, an attack that can't happen from close range. Because I just, I haven't, when, when I fight this boss, I haven't really seen it. I haven't really seen it other than after the boss runs away from me or like during this attack or something. So if I were to just guess, Fire Breath, that range that's required might be like here. Like that might be considered far enough away for Fire Breath to happen if, if it actually is a range-based attack. And it might be the case of, a similar case of Aldrich where the actual like center of the boss is actually further away from you than it seems like it's not the, the head it's actually like somewhere in here and so that's why that distance seems further away but see like here though am i like actually staying close enough i don't know that's why i wanted to test this here there is no easy way from the stars. elf man thanks for the a thousand bits dude Let's just see, let's just see how many fire breaths we got. And just sit here. But yeah, this attack is a problem for sure. Yeah, see, right, like right there, easily could have gotten it, I think. Yeah, the problem is just he's, he he goes so fast and so far away when he rolls that it'd be actually very hard to keep up with him the whole time. I assume the hitbox for that goes between his legs as well, right? Phase two arrows is interesting. Dodge it by sprinting around Aldrich. The best way that I found to dodge it is actually just by like, you can roll through it back and forth and it's very consistent. And I tested out that method for when I, I did a no bonfire, no hit where I didn't allow homeward bones. And so I tested it a lot, but yeah, there, there easily could be something better than that. That's, that's just the best that I know of. Okay, so far so good, actually. There's no way this strat would be perfect because the terrain, even, even if, oh boy. Just see how long we can go. Still nothing there. He probably could have done it there, though. If, if like this is just all a hypothesis, I, I don't actually know if it's true that fire breath is a ranged base attack, but it, it definitely seems like it is, right? Yeah, and you you probably if you actually were to try to never get fire breath, you'd probably have to go underneath him there.
Yeah, the rocks, the rocks are, I don't, I don't trust them at all. Like, people, I actually haven't gotten hit by them when I do the strat that most people do for it. But I just, I don't really trust it enough for a run like this yet. I usually just do it on, on like casual runs. And I guess, yeah, I, I, like during this, I just, I don't think there's really anything you could do uh, if he decides fire breath after this. But we haven't gotten a single fire breath yet. Like I really, I do think it's a ranged attack. It, it's just based on all the times I've fought him, it's very rare that I see it not after a roll. And after a roll, he gets all that distance, so. Yeah, obviously, obviously, if we get a roll, it's not the end of the world. We just memory grace out, but it'd be so nice if I didn't have to do that. didn't die there. I, I I don't I don't trust it at all, but Average fire giant uh, move set, dude. I do like this strat. This positioning is so fucking bad. <laughs> I cannot believe this is boss arena. I simply just can't believe it. That, maybe that fire hitbox doesn't last as long as it looks. I'm also curious about his hitbox on on the roll on his legs. That's fucked up. Why did I get that animation? <laughs> I haven't gotten a fire breath yet. I certainly it's not because of his health, right? Also dodge the fire attack by running sideways. 
only you were correct. Dude, uh, like, I, there's, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this a coincidence, or? I feel like this gotta be something, right? That he's just not doing fire breath at all? Yeah, it's got, it's got this nighttime, dude. How could I not think of that? Basically, what I'm doing is every... Every time I'm done with a punish, it, it's going to be harder. When I'm trying to work in, like, chilling mist into the fight and stuff, it's going to be harder to actually do this. But I'm just... I'm holding Y and B every single time he has an opportunity to roll just so that I'm, I'm as quick as possible getting there. And... Uh, Yeah, he knows I have no death on, so that's why he he won't do it. Oh, really? No, I just, I'm testing going in earlier, Sydney. That's why I wanted to see the hitboxes, because the earlier the better. But, you know, clearly you can't go that early. Got a very short hitbox on it. I'm a little slow here. Yeah, just the circle around him, I guess. Holy shit, dude. I'm over here. Seems like he doesn't really queue up attacks too early from that roll either, which is good. Okay, let me try to... Yeah, let me go further and see if he does it. So, like, from here, I'd assume this is far enough. Like, probably the range which he can start doing that. I really like that strat though, man. It's not 100% that he rolls every time, but... I, it's nice. It's better than like fucking waiting for it.
don't really think I need these anymore. And before he's actually just bugged out and he's just not doing <laughs> not doing fire breath for whatever reason. Yeah, that is one thing with this strat is that it's like I just I, I think I said earlier, it's not guaranteed that he rolls. That's a pretty high chance. Hey, okay, here? Okay, no. Please do it, man. You gotta do it. He's gotta be lower HP. I don't think so, though. There it is. No, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a long well, maybe it does have a long cooldown, but he hasn't done it a single time yet, so. I I have to imagine range is a thing here. Like probably people probably knew this already. I I don't know. I I kind of as, assumed it would be, because it's an attack that makes sense to be a ranged attack, but I haven't actually tested properly. So the strat a lot of people say to do here is you run away and then go back in, but, but yeah, <laughs> that like what, in, in my opinion, what that's based on, is the angle of the terrain that he's on. That's my, like, I don't know if running away actually does do anything. When I've tested out that attack, it's been... The results have depended on the angle of the terrain. And like over there, it's a weird angle. And it just messes it up. Yeah, the Panthers, dude. I, I hope the Panthers do well. Hopefully, I was, I was rooting for them last playoffs because it was such an insane run. Especially if they're playing the Leafs. Okay, now this is maybe a problem. Let's see, though. So, so right there, I could have gotten a fire breath. But I, I think with this strat, it probably at least reduces the amount of... It reduces the amount of times that he actually could do a fire breath, probably. Which is probably the best you can hope for. Now here, I'm probably far away. That's what I meant right there about, like actually doing this mid-fight when I'm trying to use slow ashes or like chilling mist and stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's just about reacting fast to when he starts his roll and always being prepared for it. Like having, having the Y and B button placed so that you can as quickly as possible get moving when he does roll. Uh, you can, you can, going underneath him is probably the most consistent way to dodge fire breath, but it's still not, there's not a 100% way that I know of. But 
based on what I've done and based on what people have told me, um, like their experience as well, going underneath is a fairly consistent way. Yeah, see again there. I wonder if there's a better path I can run somehow. Horn whistle on hop bar. It wouldn't make it any faster. It'd be the same. Went underneath him and his breath. I, yeah, I mean the breath. There's no safe way to dodge it, really, that I can think of. Just a horrible attack. The problem I can see with this strat, though, is getting killed by the fire giant rolling and getting stuck on something. Yep, look at that. And I, I, I didn't even feel like I was slow there either. Can anyone like clip that lead up or something? Because what I feel like, that probably had to do something with the this fucking rock that's here, I bet. Yeah, see, like, it's... I think any time he does this double fire breath, he, or double fire attack, he probably could have fire breath. Oh, wow, okay. Unfortunate, man, but it looks like this will probably improve the fight a little bit. It just, it's not going to be perfect. And the main pro the problem is just he, he goes so far when he rolls. He goes so far and the arena is so bad. He just gets caught up on stuff or I get caught up on stuff. And even if I'm really quick, like there, I'm, I'm pretty fast. I... I feel like he probably could still do it. No, that's not that's not what I'm testing here, Elderwood. I, I'm testing a combination of attacks, not a specific attack. I think this is pretty I think this is pretty solid though. Like how how long did we just go without getting a single fire breath from closer close ish range? We went probably uh, almost 20 minutes, dude, I feel like. And and this fight doesn't even last that long because you know, we get all the statuses proc, we get rot instantly. So this should be a pretty good improvement. Hopefully. So here I can get stuck. So yeah, if I, if I only have to memory of grace out a fire giant, like one every, every 10 fights, that would be more than good enough for me. This deck's kind of annoying though. I do read YouTube and Twitch comments at the same time, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just, I go to a site which allows me to like combine them both. If only this attack was also a ranged attack because this, this one's so annoying.
Egger better proc poison? No, because the whole reason I use Venomous Fang is because it has deadly poison on it. That is the entire point. And if you poison infuse the Venomous Fang, then they get deadly poison still. But it lasts for a full 90 seconds. So, yeah, like nothing can really come close to that. Like it's basically as good as Rod at that point, almost. Well, this is, I mean, this is decent, dude. Better than what I was doing before. It's kind of just like all about reducing the chance of fire breath happening. And I, I, I'm fairly convinced at this point that Doing that horse, like really being prepared for him to roll and then getting the horse ready and all that stuff so that I can keep up with him is going to reduce the amount of fire breaths I got. I'm not sure if it's more total damage than Rod, but it's pretty comparable, I think. Yeah, during during that attack, I really just don't think there's much you can do. Just gotta hope you don't get a fire breath. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do Convergence. Oh, boy. I think yeah, I'm going to do Convergence playthrough whenever I'm done this run, I, is what I think I want to do. Because I, I should get this run before I do any of that. Yeah, that, that's... Like, that right there was basically perfect, right? I think I want to be sort of right next to his head. Oops. I want to be next to his head. Because his head didn't have a hitbox. When it, when we were looking at hitbox viewer, his head didn't have a hitbox when he rolls. It's the main torso, so if I go really close to his head, then... Yeah, look how much damage per tick this does in phase 2. Basically, uh, what? 99 or something? Like an insane amount of damage. And then, and then it lasts for so long. And then you get the moth light on top. No, that DLC character is gonna gonna take a very long time to get fully set up. So let's just see how much damage it does total here. I mean, I guess I attacked him a little bit, but okay, this this is where probably oh okay this is fine. That's... <laughs> that was a little close. Dang. I didn't see how much poison did their total, but it's, it's a significant amount. Like, this fight only takes... It only takes one poison and rot proc plus one frost, and I think that kills him. Dude, a, a, could you imagine a rot moth flight that, like, deals even more damage somehow? It'd be insane. It'd be so good. 
Fairly DLC will add that. Plans to do uh, Vigor only before DLC. I'm actually not sure what to do because I would love to do those stat runs with the DLC bosses included, right? But yeah, I'll, I'll probably do them all before. Okay, well, I, I'm, I don't know if I would test much more. I, I, I think I'm pretty convinced that just doing that, um, no, Vigor only is going to be fun. I think I'm actually pretty excited for it because I'm going to try to use mainly builds that take my HP away. So I think the Thorn Sorceries do that, I, you know, stuff like uh, Bloody Slash and Blood Blade and all that stuff. Sounds cool to me. Hey, was there anything else? I feel like there's more. Can anyone remember if I if I've mentioned anything? Oh, oh, the the godskin. I need to practice this boss anyways. Preparing for Mesmer the Penetrator. Uh, not yet. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll continue that casual playthrough today, you guys. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm probably only going to stream for another uh, hour and a half. Because I have, I have some stuff tonight, so... Like, I, I was going to start up a run today and try to get, you know, like, maybe an any percent close to finished or something, but... Wait, does shooting the bug do more damage? No. I was going to try to do, do that today, but... There's still, there's still too many things to test here, and, and I, I really don't think... All the running sections and stuff are perfectly fine. It's it's literally just about being good at the bosses, right? If, if you think about the last run I did... I think I got hit eight times. One was to Red Wolf. One was to Malaketh. Four were to the Rata Beast fight. I got hit on an NBC before Moog, so that was one running section, but I figured it out already. I got hit to Moog, and that was it. So all the hits were all on the bosses. And I there's nothing else that it really feels questionable at this point. So... Uh, I simply just got it on Google. Uh, Dennis, I think, dude. What's up, hot salad? Would no damage rather than no hit be much different? On this particular run, it would be basically identical. Because I, I do... Well, you know, actually, no, you know what? It wouldn't be because I wouldn't be able to use stealth. So it actually would be quite a bit different. But not really for a reason that you would think. Like, most people think no damage would be different because the main... The main thing that people bring up is that you can't use Red Feather Talisman, which takes away 10% damage, and, like, that's the big deal of no damage runs, but... Actually, you know what? I decided I was going to shoot two arrows here anyways, regardless.
Yeah, two. I, I think two arrows is definitely the play here. Seems more consistent. Uh, I don't stream every day. I usually stream like four to five times a week at this point. That's where the run ended yesterday. Uh, it was not actually. I got I got hit on Red Wolf yesterday, or like on the on the run yesterday. So it ended basically right away. I guess I could speed up the game, but I would like to do all bosses when I go. Yeah, I think that'd be insane. I can't really imagine a run that I would ever do that'd be harder than that. Like a, a 25 hour run, probably where each boss fight. I, I just I, I don't even know. I, I don't know yet, but I would I would at least like to try to route it. Just see what we can figure out. Um, no hit fist only. That would not happen, probably. Doing longer streams when I'm actually attempting the big runs. Well, I uh, we'll see. It depends. Plan on doing other Remembrance Boss of Fist Only. Well, part of the reason I wanted to do Fist Only in the first place was just, like, as a more fun way to... Just, like, practice and learn the bosses. Because I... You know, it might seem crazy to fight a boss, like, I don't know, like Fire Giant or something for five hours, but... I would be doing that anyways, <laughs> you know, so... I, I don't know. Like, I guess I might as well do a poison... Oh, poison mist here too, right? Why not? In proc, though. Let's 
So, limp blades. The bow back. Rot. I just realized I have, <laughs> I have, ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, it actually totally messes that up too. Whoops. Um, someone asked why this runs harder than fist only. Like, it, I, I don't know. Like it's, 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 it's not even remotely close to the same. Fist only is significantly easier than this, like by a long shot. But I, I think if you're, you know, if you're just like newer to no hit runs, then it might be a bit harder to understand. But just having a having to play perfectly the entire time is harder than not having to play perfectly the entire time. Like that's what it comes down to, right? Because a lot of people, a lot of people are confused about it, and they're like. How on earth did I not get rot there? That's crazy. Dude, uh, Drunk, thanks so much for the $50, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. But yeah, a lot of, like, even when I, when I released the, uh, Master Run Any Percent No Hit video, the title was like hardest no hit no, hardest Elden Ring no hit run or something like that. Maybe, Hunter's one who comes maybe. up with the titles by the way at this Hunter's point so <laughs> but ever. but that that is probably true. It's definitely the hardest one I've done to this point. But a lot of the comments were saying like no fist only is harder than this. It's not, like it's not even close. It's not even in the same realm of difficulty at all. And I, I maybe part of it just has to do with the fact that when people watch a run like fist only or maybe, when people watch maybe. a run like the no hit they the see the successful attempt and then they compare that to the fist only it's like oh yeah clearly this is much easier because bosses die in like a tenth of the time and stuff but the main difference is just on one one hand you have to play perfectly on the other you do not have even have to play close to perfectly it's just one's like pure endurance just being able to um like survive in a boss fight for a long time basically forever but then one you basically have to fight bosses for a long time while also playing perfectly the entire time and then doing that for every boss that is in the run so it's just it's not even close and yeah fist only no hit is, a, is not a run that anyone will ever do so so yeah, yeah I get like fist only no hit would be harder than this for sure but just a normal fist only playthrough versus a run like this. It's it's completely different. Oh. Uh Troglodyte, thanks for the burning prime sub and Grape Thrower, thanks for the burning prime sub as well. Just only no hit kill. Well, probably not because I'm not I'm not a someone who's very big on doing just like individual boss kill challenges. I don't. Like I can I I probably could do it for a number of the boss at this point, and I'd be pretty confident that I that I could. But I I it's just I don't know. I just find that more boring than doing a full run through. So I've accidentally turned on sound view somehow. I didn't set up Red Feather either. Like that that's how much of a difference Red Feather makes, like just a couple damage.
Yeah, a boss, probably a boss like Morgoth, I, I would be... I probably could do a, a, a fist no-hit kill on him, on a boss like that, but... I just, I'm not as into just individual boss kills. There's, there's kind of a, there's a whole community of people who do that sort of thing. They just, they, they just like to fight bosses. So, uh, that's more likely from one of them compared to me who just prefers to do full run-throughs. And I think, I, I think just the main reason is that I, my favorite part about playing these games is routing the no-hit runs mostly. So. Oh, back to the bow. Oh, I used the wrong fucking grease, dude. Whoops. Just waiting for the, yep. I guess we never got poison there. If I didn't if I didn't mess up the opening and use the wrong grease like there's no question using the poisonous miss up earlier like speeds us up quite a bit because had I, had I gotten that poison proc then yeah it would have been over a long time ago at this point I might as well just like do charge or twos with the star fist dude Okay, so now, proc frost, proc deadly poison, and now I guess we're going to wait for frost again. Like, this would be insane if we could just kill the boss out right here, but see how little damage that does? I want to try 
I don't know if I have enough time for this, but... Um... Looks like I do. I'm just gonna, like, I go for the stun. Yeah, I th dude, I think that's gonna work. Hopefully. So, so here's what I'm thinking. I, I proc poison first. I proc poison first, then I do frost. Poison runs out, I do poison, I do frost again. I think, because the, the cooldown should be close to the same. And then... So, Godskin starts getting up. I get a immediate poise break with a bleed proc. Which should cause the transition to happen. And then, would Moth Light be enough to finish the job? I don't know. Because it'd be very nice if I, I, if I didn't even need to poise break cancel the Apostle Summon because that would just kind of remove some annoyance from the fight a bit. Was the dagger run a re-upload? Uh, it was not. You might you might have confused it with like the live stream or something. Like maybe maybe you watched the live stream and then thought it was not a live stream or something. Yeah, somebody asked why the why the, like the noble doesn't try to resummon the apostle. It's because when you cancel when you so when you cancel the resummoning with a stun, then the boss doesn't try to resummon again. Basically, so that's that's why I I use glimblade phalanx. I set up the poise break, and I like use knives to upkeep it. And then as soon as the summon starts happening, I I cancel it. Yo, Hydra, thanks so much for the the donation, dude. Yeah, the gods can do it really sucks. It, I, they wouldn't be nearly as bad if, if they didn't decide to make them a required main story boss fight. Wouldn't be nearly as bad. But they did, so. And uh, Nihawk, thanks for the um, four-month prime sub as well, dude. Welcome back. Yep, they just shouldn't have made it a main story boss, and then nobody would have really cared. It is a bit of a shame. The, the, and, the, and most people agree, too, that the fights on their own are pretty fun. I, at least that's what I think. I think both of the bosses are pretty fun. There's some issues. You know, the roll attack is a horrible attack, but...
Come on. Why did it say I couldn't wield it? Did I... Maybe I tried to go with the wrong one. This one... This time, Rot Grease, the correct one. I probably won't be able to repost here. I'm just not even going to try. Um, Schrodinger Lee, thanks so much for the, uh, the raid. How was your stream? We are simply doing some practice on probably the worst boss. I guess, you know what? The poison resistance is so high right now. That's why this is taking so long to proc. We, how many times have we proc poison by this point, dude? But yeah, how was your stream? I appreciate that. Not sure if we got it yet. Yeah, okay, we did. And now, I guess I probably could get Moth Flight. Oh, boy. Kind of unfortunate. I wonder if Moth Flight will work out here. So, ideally, I would have been able to get another Frost off right there. Right here. Another Frost, and then it would just take a Moth Flight to finish off the boss. Not sure why I jumped that. Stop. Stop. Okay, so okay, we gotta be kind of fast here. So poisonous mist first. I might already be too slow. Off or frost, and then we wait. Also, I wouldn't mind using Exalted Flesh here, too, just to get a bit more damage, but I don't think we need it. But if we're a bit short, I could use it, so... So let's wait for this to go. I, I just I want to see if we're able to entirely skip the Apostle on this fight. Okay, so the Frost is gone. Poison's gone, so... Poison. Poison. And now we got... Ah, I'm just... I'm not quick enough. Yeah, I just, I just don't think we have enough time, dude. Ah, what do I do? I may, Maybe I just go one... One frost? Any ideas? Hear something else for Red Wolf? I, I sort of did, yeah. I um 
I think when Red Wolf does the instant hop, the or the instant lunge, I think I just need to roll it. So, so what I'm gonna do is when triple glum blades happened, I'll just react. I'll react to how long it takes Red Wolf to do the lunge after it, and then if there's any delay, I'll use Vow the Indomitable. If not, then I'll roll it. Um, probably could sleep again. Yeah. Well, Black Black Flame we get from this boss, so no, it's not an option. If we didn't need Black Flame Tornado from this boss, then I actually would just skip them, probably. But... I mean, how many Sleep Pots did we have remaining there? Like, a, maybe like two extra? I, so, I, I, I guess, probably worst case, I just keep doing what I have been doing, but then throw in the extra poison damage. And probably what that does maybe, is just... Maybe it'll it'll make it so that ever. after I get the stun, then the fight should just be over. But I, I'm just trying to think of a way that I could remove needing to get that second stun. Uh, Ratatel, thanks for the uh, four-month prime sub, dude. Anyways, I you know what? Like... Dealing with... Getting the stun is really not too bad. It's really not. So I could just go... Frost, poison, frost again, and then that gives me enough time. Or... I could maybe do... I could maybe do poison, frost, and then another poison instead, but... Is, does anybody know how much... Like, is the frost... Let me check. How much damage did the frost do compared to the poison? The frost is somewhere like, I guess, 700 ish damage, something like that. Is that right? Or 679? Wait, does the poison. Oh, I guess the poison ended. So it's, it's like 700 damage. So how much is the poison, though? Poison 17 per tick, and that should last 90 seconds. So what's... What's 17 times 90? Like, I guess poison is more than, right? Wait, am I just really stupid? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Forster, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Oh yeah, well, yeah, I guess. So okay, so what we'll do is, like, poison really doesn't. It's so bad because it it works off the base HP of, not the overall boss, but. But the, uh, like, the individual enemy. So. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, ninety, ninety times seventeen, right? That should be more than frost. Am I really stupid? Yeah, poison. Yeah, poison 1.5k. Yeah. Who's confusing me, dude? <laughs> I mean, let's just see how much this overall combo does. So frost plus poison. Before I proc the frost, we're at around 1400. How does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't take one... Maybe it's not once a second.
Well, you know what? Bleed... If, if there's a way to proc bleed without actually hitting the enemy, which I'm not sure if there is, like, the, even the bleed prot pots hit stuff, right? Then you actually could bleed without waking up, but I don't... I don't really think you can. Alright, anyways, let me try then... Something else. Let me just try what I think I'll end up doing. Which will be poison or, or frost, poison, and then frost again, and then we do the stun. And then that should bring the enemy to phase two. I don't know. I, it's it's kind of it's very it's kind of complicated. So, well, bleed pots. I don't know if bleed pots are an option, and I think they do actually hit, deal damage to the enemy when they're hitting, like in building up status. So, I don't think that that works. No, I I think this is fine. Like I think I'll just do the same strat, add in the poison, and then. That should be enough to just kill the boss before anything happens, really. Because even the normal strata used without the extra poison proc in there, it it's already very close. The boss just needs a couple more hits after. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best yeah, there are blood pots, but they're they're kind of really bad, actually. Once more for your playlist. I've been listening to it the last month, maybe while I was studying. Oh, dude. Uh, I was wondering. It's like, dude, where's my poison? <laughs> but, uh, Cup, thanks for the seven-month prime sub, dude. You'd love to see it. Uh, there's no difference, John. If there's level boosting, would this run be way easier? It would definitely be considerably easier, yeah. Going with like a magic build with Night Comet plus Meteorite Staff would be very strong. Not to mention having access to Ants for Rapier and stuff. Yeah, when you're so when you're level one in this game, if you are using staff boosting, the highest effective level you can reach is level 160. Like that might sound insane, but that's actually what it is. It's level 160. So, so basically what that means is the amount of stats that you can get through buffs and talismans and great rune, all that stuff. The actual level that your character, like the effective level of all those stats added up is 160. Which I just think is the reason why I didn't allow it in this run is just I feel like it's way too high. Like, it's way too many stats, and, and the best strats on a lot of bosses would just require so much buffing before each fight, which I wanted to avoid. So. But we'll see. I mean, if, if all bosses isn't going to be possible unless I stat boost or something, then I would do it, but... Uh, Stallion, thanks for the 500 bits, dude. This is practice. As it says on the screen right there.
See how much worse deadly poison is though when you don't get that like insane duration. That's why that's why I go all the way to the black wet blade and grab it because it makes a huge difference. Because it does a lot of damage per tick, but. This is this is exactly how I think it should go here. Oh, I why did I do that? <laughs> Whoops. I got a little carried away. Let's finish off with Charger 2s here. Oh, fuck you for doing this. Don't dodge that. Okay. So now I'm going to proc Frost again. Might as well use an Exalted Flesh too. If I remember. It's the last time I forgot. So second Frost. Pop this. This. And equip. Lead. I need my other... Fan daggers. The fan daggers are just better at hitting the apostle because even if he dodges, it still clips him. Here we go. So now we do this. Lead. Okay, so now. Now what? I can use frost here. What an atrocious roll. Oh my god. Oh, boy. Well, if I had done that properly, I would have gotten a bleed in there probably, right? So, I think that's basically perfect, dude. I think that's that's exactly what I would like. Because we deal enough damage, we instantly get transition on the boss, and then if I actually don't be an idiot, then we just kill the boss, which is pretty good. Phase 2 is easier than Phase 1. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Like, both phases are honestly fine. It just... This is probably the most optimal way to do it, to just avoid the boss at all, at, like, entirely. But I practice him a lot. It doesn't matter if I get him. Or if I have to fight him. Don't repost, but hit for bleed. Um... 
The repost does some damage, though, and we get the bleed on it, because it's a double hit, so. No, I think that's good. I, th I think that's very good. Yeah, because whenever he goes into phase two, he basically does that attack every time, or just a big punishable attack, so. All right, dude. Um... I'm probably going to enter in 45 minutes, so there's not even a point in starting up a run, but I will uh, learn and then win, dude. I'd like to find a Morgoth save file. But yeah, that was that was good. That's pretty clean, man. It was scripted. Well, it's not. It's definitely not scripted, but it's pretty damn close for a run like this. The Apostle is the Apostle is basically scripted. Like in the opening script, it's it's really just the noble fight. This is a save post Morgoth for some reason. Uh, am I into lore? If yes, am I hyped for DLC? Well, I'm not really into lore, but I'm still pretty excited for the DLC though, regardless. The strat is better if if I can get a bleed grease off. The strat does work better, but If only these, like, shit fucking geysers weren't random. It'd be kind of nice. Oh my god, imagine just not rolling. Ugh, dude. What was that? I was in perfect position, and I just didn't roll for some reason. I feel like I normally get another frost somewhere. Why do I forget what I do here? I think I'm supposed to get another frost or something.
Maybe I'm supposed to go for a stun at this point. Average more got combo. Okay, that was more like it, dude. That was more like it. <laughs> Except I actually don't even really know what changed there. Because we've got the same number of procs of everything, but... more hits, I guess. Whoops. was decent now do it in ng plus eight <laughs> you know the funny thing is i actually am on ng plus eight that's the funny thing i'm on journey nine on this character yeah morgoth's yeah his sidestep as a hitbox and it's actually very annoying very annoying and and like it's it's kind of weird because sometimes you can just roll into him and like, it's after this one where it's a big concern. Uh, Rata Beast, I use Black Flame Tornado with just like the short spear.
Oh, dude, just hit the boss. That was nice too. Jump the grab for extra style points. I don't jump the grab because it's straight up just worse to do. Like, it, you get less punish off when you do that. Uh, how close do I feel I'm giving the f or how close do I feel I am to giving it full times? Pretty close, I think. I'm feeling pretty good about this run at this point, like especially since I've been focusing on it for the past like two or three days and not doing random other stuff. Cause that's, yeah, that's what I need to do. Like just not have all these interruptions. I want to do some Moog here. Moog, we'll do Millennia, we'll do, like, I'll just practice until I have to end up probably around four, so. It is fun to fight the bosses maybe, like this. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I find it fun to just practice for this run. Let me see if I have a safe all that. I because I, I practiced last night. Stalian, thanks for the two month resub as well, dude. I appreciate that. Um Yeah, I was fighting was fighting Moog last night, so. Yeah, Moog's tough. Moog is tough on this. You know what I realized as well? I think it's probably better to not bother with Moth Flight Finisher. I think it's better to just go Frost. It's it's just, you know, it's not always better, but in the cases where the fr where the poison runs out, it's way more consistent, and I, I don't really have to worry about it like running out on some inopportune time or something. So I think I'm just going to swap to the dagger and just use poison instead. Or just use frost, I mean. So Larry's tree is pretty good, yeah. Solid. The weapon itself is kind of bad, but the Ash of War is really good. That was a little risky, but worked out pretty well. It was just risky because he could have just started his countdown there. And if we don't get the shackle off, we basically just lose a whole tornado. Makes the phase two last pretty long.
Okay, so now... And another thing that Poison's Mist is also good for, or Frost is good, is that in that situation, if I had went with Moth Flight, I would have had to just wait because it wouldn't have killed him. So I think, like, I think Frost is just more consistent. Finish off. And it procs pretty quickly too, since we don't have the status, like, build up resistance really high. Let's go on KC. So yeah, I think, I think Frost is the play. So no more Moth Flight here, unfortunately, because Moth Flight looks so cool, but... I think just worse. I've been thinking about only punishing that attack once with like one tap or two because maybe just like a charged R2. It's just, it's a little close with two, I think. Especially when you have the glimp blades and you can do the meme thing. The double charge or the double claw. How did that miss? Uh, Erdbeer, welcome back. You might have noticed that I'm mid-rolling for this fight. I don't know if I said that earlier. I was thinking about it during the last fight, but... Mid-rolling, I actually find, makes this easier because... Sometimes rolling too far, it just puts you in an awkward spot. Especially when all the fire is everywhere in Phase 2. I think mid-rolling is better for this boss. It's pretty, it's pretty rare that mid-rolling is better for a boss, but I'm pretty certain that it's better here. And also, like, on these combos, you just don't roll as far to the side and stuff. Probably going on this one. I don't really need to be too picky with when I go in on that. It's better that I go in on it early than risk not getting my extra tornado with the shackle. This is not a good spot. Wow, I'm just probably dead here. Just, yeah, there's nothing I could have done. Maybe I shouldn't leave Moog for last, you guys, because there's there's situations that he can do where I'm I just I don't even know what you do to survive. Like you just die. Well, I guess I just well I guess I just had to go into that. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's a hit for sure. Yeah, I mean, I got hit by the fire. I can see it. Yeah, I, I I think if I went in, I would have been okay, probably. I just, uh, somehow I forgot that I even can go underneath him there. I kind of, I still kind of want to do him last, though, because he's cool. No, we don't die. If, if I have, with this setup, if I have 95 HP, or 94, actually, but 95 is the one that I can easily set up with a combination of, like, Seppuku and Assassin's Gambit, 95 HP doesn't, like, it allows me to survive with two health. So, yeah, it's not just that I have no death on. Like, I actually survive, obviously. Or else I wouldn't do it. I mean, here, I'll, I'll turn off no death. Whoops.
This is where you can do weird stuff. Basically all those missed. Just going on it here. I, yeah, Fire Giant. Um, I think. I think that strat that I was doing is gonna be a, a decent improvement, and not get not just not getting fire breath as much. I'm I'm fairly convinced at this point that. That Fire Breath is an attack that can't happen from the correct distance. Like, just like Aldrich Arrows. Or that sort of thing. Oh my god, dude. See, the mid-roll saved me for sure right there. If I wasn't mid-rolling, I'm getting hit by that fire. 100%. Don't fly, please. That is so close. I can see it. Holy it's smokes, this boss is very tricky. I kind of just assumed that Moth Flight and Chilling Mist were about the same speed. I'll give you the best nut ever. Is Mist maybe slightly slower? Uh, Raphael, thanks for the 16-month uh, Prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. That's a, that's a very tricky boss, dude. I, I should probably practice him more before, but... It just... Uh, there were so many instances there where they're so close to the fire, but that's, that's exactly why I'm mid-rolling, because I guarantee there, if I'm, if I'm not mid-rolling... In two of those instances, and I'm fast rolling, I roll into the fire because I just go too far. Frostbite before the stun. Well, it wouldn't actually add any more damage because, first of all, the fire would immediately reset the frost. But, like, the percentage also isn't even affected by frost anyway, so... I was wondering if I could fit in Frost anywhere, though, in the Moog fight before the transition happening. Or, like, during it, ideally. But... I just I, I just don't think it makes any sense, because Tornado is so much better than anything else I could use. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be worth... I'm not going to go for this. It wouldn't be worth, you know, using Frost instead of Tornado, because Tornado is just way better, so... No, I, I'm very happy with how the Moog fight goes at this point. It just It's just a matter of having more positional awareness so that I make sure I'm not, like, going towards the wall as much as possible and all that stuff.
I don't pair that one anymore because it's just way too finicky. Unless I'm at the, unless I'm at for sure the correct distance, then then I'll parry it. But if it's like I'm a little close, like even there, I'm just maybe a little close. So just don't want to risk it. Start with frost and at half health. Well, there's no point in doing that because the phase one, the amount of time that the phase one lasts just doesn't matter. Because phase two is the hard part, right? And that's the that's the thing that I'm trying to minimize the amount of time I spend in. Beautiful parry right there. That was good. That's that's the attack that gets me usually. When she does it from idle. Just need to get that in my muscle memory. And you know what's going to happen too? When I go back to fighting Millennia the normal way, I'm probably going to get destroyed, dude. Because now I'm so used to fighting her like this. I'm probably just going to get destroyed. What if Shackle, Frost, Shackle... The only way Frost could make any sense is if I do it. So let's say he's going over 50%. The only way Frost could ever make sense is if I can get it off mid combo where he's guaranteed to follow up with another attack after where I could then shackle him. And then that, that would actually like, if that was possible, I'm not sure if it is. If that was possible, then I almost would get close to killing him before phase two happened. But yeah, I'm not sure if there's any attack sequence where I could get like a... A chilling mist off during the combo. I Like there probably is though, but I'm just, I can't think of it right now because I'm fighting a boss. Uh, Goose, thanks for the form of the Prime Sub, dude. Welcome back. I think is my worst boss well i think the boss that i'm most likely to get hit by is probably rata beast or red wolf most likely
because this boss is brutal. Uh, Joey, how's it going, dude? This boss is very tough. Like, even, like, Radagon's tough on his own. On his own, he's not maybe one of the hardest bosses, but he's pretty tough. But then combine it with Elden Beast, and you got the hardest boss, <laughs> for sure, on this run. Do you take an extra week of vacation when DLC releases? That is an obvious yes, dude. That is obvious. Oof, my stamina. I, I would prefer to have the stamina for Elden Beast, so... I don't use the Physic yet. I could do a Chilling Mist here, because there's nothing else I can really do. You can't just go behind him, like, on the other attack. This one, you can just kind of go into it, but the other one, you can't. Tricky. Read. I've decided. I, I kind of forgot about this. When I first read this run, I was like, oh yeah, why don't I just use Valve the Indomitable on Elden Beast? And I just completely forgot about that, so now I'm going to start using it. 
Like, if he does Wave of Gold or something, it's by far the easiest way to dodge it, you know? Oh my god, bro. This fight is so bad. If he didn't just swim away like this, it would not be so bad. Is he Chattagon again, or... No, he's Spamagon, dude. He's still Spamagon. I, I do like the boss, though. I, like, if, if he was on his own, I would give him an A tier. A very solid A tier boss. Okay, so we're gonna pop this. I'm just gonna slowly walk a little bit away. We're good to go. Very good RNG here. Not really the RNG you want to see when you're practicing this, but... This attack's kind of scary when you're really far away, actually. I also realized I can do a triple here. Which is pretty good. Another punish. See <laughs> bear, thanks for the uh, two month prime sub, dude. Is that as a Rangers fan or a non Rangers fan? Saying that. I should have drank there. All right, there we go. Nice. I mean, very good RNG fight, which is not really what I want to see when I'm doing this, but... Nice and clean. See, so look at the, look at the boss fights that we just practiced. I, I got hit on Moog, and that was basically it, dude. The Millennia's clean. It's probably, like, the third hardest boss. Maybe fourth. Radabee's clean. Most of the Moog fights were fine. It's just the one where I was against the wall and I should have went underneath instead of back. But I'm, like, feeling pretty solid about most of this, dude. So, anyways, I think I'm going to end stream for today, guys. I know it's short stream, but... Um, that's how it is sometimes, dude. I was planning on doing a run, but then I got caught up basically spending how long on Red Wolf? Because I wanted to get the proper solution for that attack. But I, I was going to start up a run, but it just, I don't know. I guess it just turned out to be practice today. Which is probably better, honestly. Probably made a lot more progress by doing that than actually doing an attempt. So. Uh, but anyways, I'm not sure if I'll be back on tomorrow, you guys. But if I'm not, uh, have a good weekend. They're all short streams. Well, yeah, most of them are, I guess. Except for Tuesday. But anyways. Yeah, take care, guys. I will see you all um, 
I mean, maybe I'll do like an extra stream on the weekend. I'm not 100% not sure. I said I was going to last time, but then I didn't. So we will see. But I think next week we'll be able to get this run though. At least, at least get some good runs going. But probably we can get it next week, so. Um, I guess we can raid somebody also. I forget. Board of Elden Ring. Hmm. Not yet, dude. Let's raid Azaz. Azaz is doing the, um, bounty. The, what was it called? The legendary armaments percent bounty right now. Now, you know what, Bree? It's funny. Bree actually got her run. I, I don't know if it was yesterday or today or what, but. But yeah, Bree got it. Oh, Woody just got it too? Okay, well, I think all the slots are filled now, unfortunately, but. Yeah, his ass is on a pretty good run right now, you guys. So go side to his ass, and I will see you all next week, you guys. And surely, we will simply first try Master Run All Great Runes, dude. But, yeah, take care, guys. I'll see you all next week.